Greetings once again and welcome to LGR Quickies. And if it sounds like it's raining and thundering out there, that's because it is. And if not, then I don't know. That's cool. My microphone's better than I thought. So yes, today's game is actually a game that takes place in the rain quite a bit. And not in the rain. It's also not a physical game, which is why I'm not holding it, and I'm instead uh, holding a red PS4 controller. So yes, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the newest game from The Chinese Room, and that is a game called Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. And if The Chinese Room sounds familiar, then perhaps you've played or heard of Dear Esther and A Machine for Pigs, the second Amnesia game. Well, yes, this is by the same dudes over in uh, an independent studio in Britain, except that this game is no longer strictly independent, sort of. I mean, it still kind of is, but it is published by Sony Computer Entertainment as a PlayStation 4 exclusive. So what exactly is Everybody's Gone to the Rapture? Well, aside from the name itself, which implies some religious tones, of which there are some in the game, especially in the first little bit, it's an experience that is very much about walking around somewhere that is gorgeous, fully realized, but yet you don't do a whole lot. For instance, you're not interacting as much as, say, the Stanley Parable or the Vanishing of Ethan Carter, of which this does bear some other similarities, especially Ethan Carter, but you know, this, this is very much just walking around and in first person, looking at balls, glowing balls, ball lightning, orbs, spirits, I don't know what the heck, man. And it doesn't exactly explain it either. It's a very mysterious game, and it is one that it captured my just, I have to know what's going on kind of feeling at the very beginning. My curiosity, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I know words. But really, that is it. You're walking around the set of the town from Hot Fuzz while a bunch of uh, English people talk about gossip in the town, and you figure out what happened there and why everybody's presumably gone to the rapture. Or indeed, if they have. And I'm, I'm not saying it's aliens, but uh, <laughs> there is something really kind of sci-fi that goes on that is much further than just a weird religious thing that the first part of the game tries to tell you is kind of going on. Uh, it, it, it's really interesting, and I can't say much about it without spoiling it. However, I will say this. The biggest reason that I wanted to talk about this at all is not the gameplay itself, because there's so very, very little of it. I wanted to talk about Everybody's Gone to the Rapture because of the magnificent soundtrack. It is very, very rare that I will recommend a game almost purely on its soundtrack, but Everybody's Gone to the Rapture was one of those. This is a game that I was so happy that my PS4 controllers uh, had a headphone adapter built in because with a good pair of headphones, just getting immersed in this world, listening to the sounds, the weirdness around you, the voices of these creepy ghost spirits that you're watching and whatnot, and, and the music, the music is one of the single best soundtracks I've heard. There is one thing about the game that I don't like, and that is the way you move around so freaking slowly. You can hold down uh, the right trigger, or R2, on the uh, PS4 controller to kind of run, but the way it works is like this gradual accelerated running. Like you hold it down and the longer you hold it, you'll slowly start to move faster and only in certain areas that it allows you. This game is very much about pacing, and you just have to get used to that. In fact, it plays like a, you're watching a, a stage play or like a performance art of some kind on a stage where you're just going and watching one scene after another play out with these musical interludes in between and throughout that tie it all together and this, this thing that just feels way better than it should, especially since you're doing basically nothing. You're walking up to stuff and like pressing a button every so often to see or not even really see, but just hear these things that happened in this town. Now, the asking price for this is $20. Do I think that that price is worth it? I don't know. It was over in about three hours, three and a half hours for me, and, I, you know, it's just whatever. You can't just go strictly on game length. For me personally, it was because I got to experience something that was, I, I don't know, it, spiritual in a way it's like like i said it was like watching a weird spiritual performance art 
I was very glad I experienced it. So maybe wait on a sale. Either way, this is just something super interesting that I had to talk about, even though it's not necessarily the best game that I've played in a while. It was just a fascinating and engaging experience on a different level than most things that I would typically play. And if you enjoyed this quickie, then perhaps you would like some of my others. I do a quickie every so often here on my channel, and I'm act this is a reference to uh, <laughs> Garfield quickies from the cartoon. Uh, not necessarily the sexual act, but I I'm aware that there are some connotations there that make sense for these as well, because, you know, it's like, oh, it's not as good as the real thing, but a quickie's still all right. I don't know. Yeah. Naming aside, maybe you'd like some other videos that I've done. There are some here. There's also Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. And as always, thank you very much for watching.